Hello and welcome back and yes I'm back which is actually the thing you haven't been missing I have been so if you're new I'm Deirdre and I have found it really hard to actually get in front of the camera and just make a normal video and you know I don't find that hard so it's just a sign of the times and it's been well I suppose it's about me taking my time to get my head around what's happening uh, um, look, the science, that's not an issue for me. Um, I can do the science back to front, inside out. What would you like to know? No, I'm talking about heart stuff. You know, the things that make it hard. The things that scare us, that uh, make us anxious. All the, all the normal things about being human. And I've been right there, um, you know, with so many of the rest of you. Because, you know, we're all in this together. It's the one time I've think the whole planet has been in this together because I don't think there are too many countries out there where they can say it's not happening or they're having to be you know they can be carefree and just go about their daily lives normally. I'd just like to say thank you first and foremost that's sort of one of the reasons I'm, I've been feeling really bad about not making a video because I want to say thank you. Um, to thank you for all for all of your support over the time on this channel and hey I'm not going anywhere don't worry um, but yeah even and again and times like this it makes you realize that you've got to stop and in the slow time one of the benefits of the slower time is to remember to be grateful incredibly grateful as I am for you all and for all of you who have uh, messaged me and contacted me and asked if I'm okay thank you so very much oh and here's a wee call out to Tammy and she knows who she is and hi and I hope that you're looking forward to spring because uh, you've had a fairly cold winter and um, yeah I'll see you along the way on Instagram and I think so many of us we need to reach out at times like this and we need to remind ourselves that we've got each other's backs um, and just try to live as well as possible so you're not going to get catastrophe here. Uh, you're not going to get me going into the science of it. You're just going to get a day catching up. Right, so what have I been doing? Well, I'll show you. I'm minding, of course, my little um, grand kitty. Because my son and his wife came back from the Philippines. They managed to get out. Which, so I'm moving around to show you where he is. Um, they managed to get out, which was fantastic. And they are now uh, into this just starting the second week of being um, in sort of basically self-isolation slash quarantine make sure they didn't bring anything back so this beautiful little fella who many of you have met before this is Aslan and um, he's here looking after me not the other way around aren't you buddy hey Aslan come on open an eye be nice no he's got that ability to follow the sun amazing right my battery's flashing i'm going to change the battery and be right back okay battery's changed um hair's tied back almost long enough to put into a ponytail again well it is in a ponytail again because i cancelled my hair appointment i wasn't prepared to do that um without being so careful i know but you have to make your own mind up about what you feel right about and that one wasn't for me Okay, so what's going on in here? Well, the standard, I'm just, as I say, I've got the kitty, he's cruising in the sun, I've got um, a woolly jumper out because it got really cold last night, I've got, um, just got a doona out ready to go on top, and some stuff that's sitting around waiting to go, get, you know, to go, because I have sort of been getting rid of some things, but not enough, and in here, my kitchen, that's why I always end up charging things. I've got my phone on charge because, you know, at this time, of course, we're living on our phone. Well, I'm living on my phone. So it's um, getting recharged constantly. A bit like batteries for this. And my little power bank. And, of course, um, keeping a shopping list because can't go out. Well, I don't want to go out more than, say, once a week to get essentials. So that's what that's there for. And this is thanks to my friend Jan, who gave me the heads up on the fact that these glasses wipes, apart from being really good for my glasses, and it had worried me that my glasses were, um, I'd come in 
wash my hands but I needed to clean my glasses and because they're going to get stuff on them as well anyway these are also incredibly good little hand wipes so if any of you have got glasses wipes or can get them that was still available on Amazon when I got them uh, and what have I been doing oh yeah I've just set this up I'm going to not with you but later I'm going to make uh, banana bread because I've got some bananas getting a bit spotty so I've got a banana bread recipe to try out this cute little coffee machine that my machine little coffee maker that my son and his wife gave me for my birthday which I thought was so cute and these gosh got on holiday in, whoops in Italy there she goes trying to break it um they're the the fair income ones the, the real deal ones anyway I have made some soup and I'm just waiting for it to cool down it's my standard sort of soup with um chicken stock and lots of veggies and tomatoes and a can a couple of cans of tomatoes and beans and oh lots and lots of things um of course this lamp decided to die no i have changed the light bulb it's not the light bulb i have to rewire it and i started cleaning up my pantry which is really well stocked by the way i've i you know because i normally live with a pretty well stocked pantry um, and it's just normal for me so I didn't even really have to go and buy much and I gave some for the kids but this is a bit of a mess down there and I'll get to that later as well um, so yeah um, my um, in here is some of the nicest sardo I've ever had apart from my other daughter-in-law my daughter-in-law in Zambia makes beautiful bread and this is from um, like another family member um, what's she? she's a cousin-in-law I think that sort of anyway it doesn't matter she's family and she's started making the most beautiful bread as well so she bought me some yesterday which was fabulous of her and I've been trying to do some study because I thought what's well, a good thing to do at a time when you can't do much else and it's doing a bit of study but I've dug up my a little radio actually I gave this radio to my son and he just never used it so it's one of those little um, digital ones so that's been getting a good workout and you can see who lies here on the table in the sun in the mornings but yes so I've been doing some trying to do some study working through a course that I bought ages ago and just haven't got around to doing so now's a good time to do it and uh, what else oh I know I was going to show you what I'm doing in terms of keeping clean um, because it's so important to be careful about what we bring into the house. So when I come in the door, I come in. Oh my god, everything is falling down at the moment. Hang on a minute. Just not look. Caught that on the back of my hand. Hang on. I had. Oh, no, it's got those little grippy bits, like Velcro. Hang on a minute. There we go. Oops. Is it crooked? I'll go start back on again now um okay I come in and shoes off here straight away and bag hung on the rack and I sanitize my hands and this I'm not advertising any particular one this just came from my local um, pharmacy and they had it and, that, and it's actually beautiful I have to admit so if anybody in Australia can get hold of that it's gorgeous um, it is got aloe vera and moisturizer and it's a sanitizer but I'm not advertising it they don't you know they haven't bought it for me or anything and but yeah so everything gets put down here and then I take things out and put them into the kitchen and that keeps it quarantined a bit um, and I was going to show you I'm not sure I mean I'm using old-fashioned cake soap which you know normally I used to you know using liquid hand soap not at the moment I'm using cake soap and going through all the beautiful soaps that people have given me over the years but I was going to show you this and you're allowed to laugh. Poop laughing is okay. Um, it's called, for those of you who don't know, it's called a netty pot. And you fill it up and you put, in my case I use these. Some people, um, it doesn't do their own, but I find it sort of ordinary salt stings. This is a bit of salt with bicarb and there's some little sachets in there. This gets filled with water that's been boiled and cooled uh, until I can use it in... If you've never seen it, you do this, and it pours through your sinuses and cleans them. Hello, you've been in here before. 
So yes, it's what it does is it washes out your sinuses and that's a really good thing because at the moment that's something that uh, it's likely that the virus is getting in through nasal passages, just breathing it in when somebody sneezed nearby or something. So the more you can, I do that morning and night and I just want to keep my sinuses really healthy. Um, I mean, there's no guarantee, nothing's a guarantee, but I'm just doing what I can. So what else am I doing? I'm going to put you down here. So I'm going to try also, I'm, well that was really successful, wasn't it? Let's come back, that's better. Here we go. Here we are, Let's see if we can get there. I'm also going to practice not editing so much, making it just easier. Um, yep, so, um, I'm, what, what am I doing? I've gone on to my um, preventative medication for asthma wanted my lungs to be as good as possible the same with this washing sinuses twice a day just to try and keep them as healthy as possible i am taking some um you know some supplements some vitamins and things pretty much the ones that i've always taken but i'm probably more careful about whoops sorry glasses slipping down uh, i'm more careful about doing it now and I'm also taking, um, you know, a green, one of those green powder, shake it up things in the morning, uh, because that's that's a good thing to do. Um, just full of, you know, things that are meant to keep your system really, really healthy. And what else? I'm sure I had other things that I was going to say. Uh, I think the most important thing though is to keep your head in the right place. It's mental health is going to get us in this lockdown. I mean. Well, we're not completely locked down yet. I sort of wish we were, but that's uh, something that our our government, our managers at high level, haven't decided to do yet. So at the moment, people can go about their business, but they're encouraged to stay home, whereas you know, in other places, they have to stay home. Uh, and so I've been staying home as much as possible, which is quite a lot. I'm, I'm here. I've been haven't been out for, what, three days? And... Um, when I do go out, it's in the car to drop food off to my um, my son and his wife, and then I, you know, I get the bag full of goodies, and I they open the gate remotely, and then I run and put it just inside the gate, and then I run back and get back in the car, and then they come out in masks and pick up the the bags. I mean, talk about extra careful, which is good. Extra careful is never a bad thing. Uh, I'm using I've got a couple of masks that the good ones that um, they gave me that I'm using when I go to the supermarket. I'm also using disposable gloves, which I happen to also have because, you know, I do things like paint things occasionally. And so I had a couple of packets of those. But when I leave the store, I then peel off the gloves and put them in the, the rubbish bin. And then I use sanitizer on my hands again. And I use a one of those little glasses wipes on my glasses so that hopefully by the time I get into the car I'm as clean as possible uh, those sorts of things I know we're never going to take this for granted again are we apart from that I've been listening to a lot of music I find a bit of killers in the morning a little bit of you know Mr Brightside will get me moving moving is good oh that's the other thing I was going to talk about I have been putting down my yoga mat in the morning and just going through one of the routines there are lots on Instagram some really good ones. Um, the ones if you if you even Google yoga lattes, it's quite fun because that's a nice combo, and it's kind of what I do with uh, my friend who is a trainer, and it's a really nice combination of yoga and Pilates that gives you a good workout. Uh, I haven't done a full workout, you know, like a full hour workout the way I would with but with Janet, but yeah, it's still pretty good, and I've used that, and I've been going out for for walks but not enough I'm going to have to set that more into routine it's really tough because the days run into each other and I increasingly go hmm right today you know I have to tell myself what day it is and tell myself what date it is because I think I don't want to lose track of the days what I thought I might do is to decide right well I'm going to have you know Monday is DIY day and Tuesday is declutter day and Wednesday is you know study day or something or do some study in the mornings and then in the afternoons do something you know that's a bit different and of course I've been watching far too much television like we all have perhaps I haven't been reading I haven't been able to read <laughs> I was all set to read the Long Petal of the Sea, the Isabella Allende book that uh, I said I'd be reading this month, 
and I simply haven't. I have listened to some of the old audio books that I've enjoyed and that's been a great distraction because I don't have to do anything and I don't have to look at it and I can do it when I'm, I can listen when I'm tired and I'm doing something else like making soup. The soup by the way isn't for me, all for me. I will put a good probably two thirds of that uh, in a container when it's cooled down and take it round to my son and his wife so that they can have it. And uh, but yeah, sorry I got distracted there. So uh, reading, yes, reading I haven't quite got my head right round ready to read again. I think um, I'll probably manage, you know, sort of Harry Potter will be about my the extent of my reading for a little while. Movies, oh, I find it even hard to concentrate all the way through a movie. You know, the, the little chatter in my head gets in there. Sleeping, yeah, I'm actually not bad. It's it's funny because um, I thought, of, oh God, what am I doing? See, I haven't been able to have my hair cut. And it's kind of driving me mad, which is probably also driving you mad, but just try and ignore it. I was listening to Brendan Bouchard the other day and somewhere along the line, I haven't been able to re-find it or I'd post it below, do the link, but I haven't been able to find it again. But he said something like, um, what would your, you know, your future self, your self in 2021, March 2021, what would they wish that, you know, you'd done now? Would they wish that you'd learnt something, connected with someone, done something to protect yourself um, and... All of these things that you can think, okay, what can I do to, so that when I look back this time next year, when hopefully we are free of this, then what will my future self say? That I made good use of this time, this unusual slow time, or that I wasted it? And I don't mean that I have to be gung-ho and studying and writing and doing, you know, lots of different things. It may mean that I, I reflect more and that I get uh, a stronger sense of direction all of that sort of thing and it also may mean that I take smaller pleasures in things that are along the way so this morning when I went out for a walk I didn't walk quickly lots of people around you know well there weren't lots but the people who were out and we're way way apart okay don't worry lots of social distancing uh, but those people were walking for fitness, and yes, I do need to do that. But I had already decided before I went out that I was going to walk for pleasure, for a slow walk. I was going to look over fences and into people's, no, not, not spying, not, you know, Snoopy sort, but look over the fence and look at the roses. And if there's a rose poking its head out over the fence, I am going to stop and smell it. And I'm going to take pleasure in the view and sunrise and all sorts of small things that... Um, sometimes I'm in too much of a hurry to to actually do. Sorry, now the lights are coming crazy behind me. So anyway, I probably said what I meant to say, and I just wanted to catch up and say that I'm here, and I'll I'll try to come on a lot. Anyway, I will be back. I'd love to hear your ideas. Uh, I'd like to hear what you think uh, I could talk about. I'd like to hear what you're thinking about. I'd love you to connect with each other because I think we need our little tribe here uh, as we have never needed it before. And um, yeah, if you'd like to come along and just have a chat every now and again and you know catch up, then subscribe. And um, if you like the sort of just the style, a lot less organised, I'm afraid. I'm, it's a ramble today, but if you don't mind a ramble, give me a thumbs up. And uh, share with your friends because I think they're... The bigger the tribe, the more the benefit, not to me, but to you. And I'm really, I'm really focused on that, that uh, I think that if I can use my tiny voice here on YouTube uh, in service to, to you all, then that will make this time of value and I won't feel like it's been a waste. And um, I just think we all need to reach out to each other a lot more with the hearts of kindness and uh, yeah, just make a little global network of us, which is good. Anyway, enough wrangling on. I'll see you in the next one. I hope that whatever you're doing, no matter what it is, and in whatever small way that you're managing to find something small, something lovely in your day, um, I will see you in the next one. Bye.